it's not about teaching your martial art to more people. It's about teaching more martial arts to your people. And that's when you will be successful too. Let's talk about what sets apart a successful martial arts school from a less successful one. This is based on what I've observed from traveling across the world, being invited to tons of different dojos and schools and academies and gyms to teach and practice different martial arts, as well as running my own family martial arts school since I was a kid. And before we continue, let me just quickly clarify what I mean about a successful martial arts school because we actually have a few classes going on downstairs so let me run down with the camera and show you what I mean all right so in here to the left we have a Thai boxing beginners class starting let's check it out Just doing some basic warm-ups. Let's head down to the next floor where we have a mixed martial arts class starting as well. And as you can see, there are always kids hanging around here. Oops, sorry. Down here. Let's go closer. You can see them warming up in there. And we got hundreds of people coming through our doors every day of the week. Okay, we're back. So now hopefully you have a little bit more clarification of what I mean when I say the word successful because a lot of martial arts school owners have different definitions of the word success and to us it's never been about income but rather about impact and helping as many people as possible achieve the outcomes that they seek with their own martial arts training and their own journeys through this fantastic pathway that we call the fighting arts. And uh, what I've noticed when it comes to the difference between a successful and a less successful martial arts school can easily be summed up in the difference between student acquisition and student retention. And these are the two main big areas of interest that you really need to know about if you want your school to be successful too. See, here's the thing. A less successful martial arts school constantly focuses on student acquisition. They want more students, they want quantity over quality. So they try the latest marketing stunt and Mac Dojo gimmicks to find more and more and more students. But the problem is that those students quickly drop out. It's like burning a candle in both ends, right? So it doesn't matter how many people you get through the door if they leave the next week, right? And that's what successful martial arts school owners have figured out. And that is student retention. They make their school feel like it's a second home, like people belong to something that has a greater sense of purpose than just going there, breaking a sweat and going home. There's something deeper and more meaningful and that belonging is what retains students. Because it's like you wouldn't leave your own family or friends, right? No, you want to hang around them, you want to be with them because they see you and that makes you see them, right? You see eye to eye and you have a shared set of values and ideas of what you wish to get out of your training. Which means that you need to really understand how to make sure that your school not only gets students, but keeps them. Not just from this type of social standpoint, but also from an economical one, because as we all know, it costs seven times more to get a new student than to keep an old one. And that is why successful martial arts schools focus on student retention, which is quality, over acquisition, which is quantity. They want trust, not attention. And that means that the money that they save from not constantly having to bring in new students can be reinvested in developing the students that they already have. And that is why they are successful. And of course, I know what you're wondering. 
Jesse, how can I help build a school that has great student retention and not just gets new students that drop out? And hands down, the best way to do that in this day and age is social media. Not just to attract new students, which is great for... Sorry, the phone is ringing. Okay, sorry. Now, where was I? Right now, there is no better way than social media marketing. Whether you want to attract new students or keep old ones or just build a vibrant online community based around your martial arts school. And if you want to learn my three secrets of social media to build a successful martial arts school, then this is your lucky day because I recently went to Miami to give a keynote speech about this exact topic for a bunch of martial arts school owners. And those secrets were recorded and you can now learn them if you go to www.martialarts.social. So I'm gonna send you those videos where you will learn the three secrets of social media marketing to grow your martial arts school. Remember, it's not just about acquisition, it's about retention. And that is the secret sauce that sets apart 95% of martial arts school owners from the rest. And in my opinion, social media is right now, hands down, the best way to achieve that. So again, go to martialarts.social if you wanna learn my three secrets of social media marketing that every martial arts school owner needs to know.